Oh, breakthrough, take one. When did you realize you wanted to pursue music? Honestly, I feel like I've always been singing. I remember I got a guitar in 2012 for Christmas and everything changed. When I was around 13 years old, I went to this award show to dance. I remember getting into the car and telling my mom it would be the wildest thing ever if one day I could come back and be the artist on stage. It wasn't even a moment where I was like, I want to do music. It was my whole life that was literally me telling everybody that I'm going to become a singer one day. What was the biggest hurdle you overcame in order to make it? You get told no and rejected so many different times that you never really expect people to say yes to you at a certain point. I mean, that's basically my whole journey, having to convince people that I could do it, even though it didn't really happen before, especially in South Africa. Oh, I feel like the biggest obstacle has been like historically my anxiety. Because of that, I was like, I can never be on a stage again. I think especially nowadays because everything is so public and everything is being documented and put on the internet. It can be really difficult to not like drift into a space of being like, I wonder what people are thinking of me right now and I wonder what they're gonna say. You see these people on screens and sometimes you forget that they actual like real people, you know? And what lessons did you learn from that? I definitely feel like after touring with Taylor, she would introduce the openers and then she'd be like, give it up for Girl in Red who crushed it. So I was like, you know what? I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm way more empowered and confident in my decisions and where I want to go. I think that comes with time and age. The biggest lesson you learn is, at the end of the day, it's being yourself because you can't rely on anyone else to tell you who you are or what you're worth. Has there been a moment where you were like, wow, I've made it? I remember I was in Sephora, like when water just started blowing up. I had a mask on and I'm like, I'm chilled, I'm fine. And then someone was like, you know, you're not hiding from anyone. And I was like, ah! I feel like I've made it in the sense that I live completely off music. And I have my dog and my girlfriend and my apartment and my friends and family. And I feel like I have a really good life. I have so much I want to accomplish. I think it's really crazy because a lot of my biggest goals and dreams have happened in the past like five months. I'm just excited to see what happens next.